Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Cheryl Technology Channel. My name is Chris. I'm your host today, and in this one, we're going to be looking at, you see it, Thin Link. Okay, so in my last video, you will see that I had, okay, so I'm, I'm going to start from the beginning. I had this. This shouldn't take very long. If you're new to the channel, thank you for joining me with this, this video. And in this one, we are looking at something called LTS, Linux Terminal Services. Um, so what I did was I saw a video from Network Chuck about a week ago, and it said something about uh, running terminal services. Well, where I work, that's what we do, except we're doing it in Windows, RDS, technically. Yeah, does it work good? Yeah, most, some, eh. Um, but I wanted to see if I could do it in Linux, so I found this program called ThinLink that will allow you to install a an administrative server side, which... If you look at my video, I just posted it just a few minutes ago, uh, the 2013, uh, late 2013 iMac. That video is about the computer that I ran the server on. And so I'm looking at it right now. And so what I did was I put the administrator. Now, I followed a Network Chuck video. So let us let me just go. Let me go help you find the video here. The video I, I actually watched was this one. I forced everyone to use Linux. So what he did, he had a main machine, right? This is the use case. You have one machine to run everything, right? So what you got to do is you got to figure out, okay, I got to divide this thing up one way or the other. So RDS, yes, it works all right, but it's always going to be slow. It's Windows. Linux is so much faster. So a big shout out to uh, and his crew for this because this this video changed like a lot. And I, I'll show you why here in just a minute. So he, he forced everybody to go to Linux. So basically he's got, I think, four employees. One's in Florida. There's a few scattered across the country. And they need to be able to remote into this machine to use it all at the same time. Now the drawback of what he did is that there's a lot of the mainstream apps that will work on it because it's Ubuntu. Some will, some won't. I use this video to set it up. Now, there's one part of this video that that I am not sure how to do because it does not work when you do it on a Raspberry Pi. I went to Best Buy, or not Best, oh my god, what an abomination. Micro Center, and I took, I bought two, let me show you. I bought the Power Brick, two of them, and I bought two of these. Two Raspberry Pi 4 Model Bs, and I bought two of these. 128 gig because I had a 32 gig, but it kept running out of space. Now, the eventual plan is to see how it operates when I run it on, a, on a, a Raspberry Pi. Now, I can tell you, running these things, they are slower than hammered crap. They are so slow. I'm trying to figure out how can I run this in a way that's useful. So, the basic preset, the concept is that you run a 2013 iMac with the administrative side of ThinLink on this uh, computer. So let's just go to ThinLink now. ThinLink right here. This is it. Cindio.com is where you have to go. And then you go to downloads and select administrators. For administrators, that will get you the administrative side of things. So that goes on the server. The, the If you go to users, that will give you the client side. So it's a client server, a server client setup. When I set mine up, it was so easy to put on Windows. You literally download the, the file, you set the IP, set the username, and you're done. You're going to see right now how to do that. So let's go here. Sorry, y'all. I got all kinds of darn apps on here. So this is the ThinLink client. So here's the IP of my server. I created a couple users just to test, and then we're going to do that. And the first time, it'll give you a warning because it has to... Verify the certificate, the self-signed certificate. Uh, thin loop profile chooser. Let's just click start. And you're about to see it here in just a second. Look at that junk. Holy crap, that's amazing, dude. And the server's just over there chilling like a villain. Ain't doing nothing. So, I mean, you saw how snappy that was. Let's update this. Oh, crap. Darn, what am I doing? Date, and then we'll do the password. Oh, look, it won't let me do it because it wants me to run it as root. Anyway, so I can't update things, but... What I can do is I installed a program called, okay, I installed Krita. So let's see how fast it starts. Let's just see. There it goes. We're going to force quit it. We're going to change the 
desktop background i think it's vera or victoria let's see dude that is so awesome this one i like this one yeah there we go that's much better and so basically what i'm doing right now is this is a it's using a user account but it's running the session on the on the server this is just connecting into the server and running and displaying the desktop back to me that's what it's doing and so what what i'm going to do is i want to see how this runs on a raspberry pi raspberry pis are slow because they're on now these are really good in these are really good sd cards you can see them right there but i don't know if they're fast enough to be used for for a whole lot more so um and you can pass through everything dude this is so crazy let's see let, let me try something else here there was another oh obsidian you saw how quick now you saw how quick that was right you saw how freaking quick that was this could be a viable option this reminds me a little bit of this application let me let me just show you let me just show you so that's it you just log out it's pretty freaking simple so we're gonna go to chasm login now i have a web uh, i have an actual chasm account I pay $10 a month for this. So it reminds me of this a little bit in that you're going out to the cloud, right? On on our end, we're going out to the cloud and displaying whatever's on the server. This is what's on the server. These Each one of these little containers runs on a server, right? That's the same, almost the same thing that's happening over there. You're running an entire envi desktop environment, but at the... I believe the concept is the same. I mean, you're you're using one machine to run a bunch of machines. That's that's what you're doing. And so this stuff, oh y'all, this stuff is so cool. I hope that y'all love this video because the this stuff is amazing. I don't know that I've ever seen anything quite like it. Like I, I've seen it on the Microsoft side where you have to have the cow licenses and all that bull crap. So this is free for up to 10 users. You can use up to 10 users can use this OS, this desktop and the, so 10 users can remote into this server. Now I've never tested more than a couple, but it, I mean, so far it's done really good. It's doing really good. Now, yes, yeah, so you see it. The one that I really want to try is Steam. The reason why is because, because it's just freaking cool. Why wouldn't you? I'm, I'm going to try to run steam on here i may create another account that has administrative privileges so i don't have to keep doing that I'm, I'm trying to figure out ways to do things what can i use this for i could see this as being a way to run a mini desktop environment and run it remotely i mean there's a lot of possibilities y'all lots and lots of possibilities so i think i believe that i'm, I'm going to go a lot further with this now there may come a day when i say you know what I'm going to go all out. I'm going to buy a new server, a new you new to me server cuz I can't afford a I mean some of these servers are 4 or 5 grand. I'm not paying 4 or 5 grand for a server. I'd pay a thousand if I had the money, I'd pay it, but I don't really have that yet. So, um the principle is that you run a lot of machines off of one. That's the principle. Virtualization's the same principle. All of these things are the same concept, the same principle. They work off of the same client server architecture. They work off of, and it's it's interesting because a lot of this stuff works really well. Like this, dude, this is smooth as crap. Like this is, this is like being on the desktop. Shout out to ThinLink. I'm going to put a, a link to their website on in the description so y'all can go there and check it out for yourself. Now, if you want, if you want to set this up yourself, I highly recommend you go to Network Chalk chuck's youtube channel and and go to that one that i just showed you the video i showed you earlier but i'll put a link to it in the description so you can find it i really hope that y'all y'all explore this because this stuff is only getting better and better and the more that they work with it the better it's going to get then link works really well right now it works very very well i mean it kind of reminds me of um twin gate how they're like a never heard of company and all of a sudden they come out with a piece of software that's absolutely incredible. Twingate's awesome too, which there's a video coming on that one. So um, I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. And as always, in every video at the end of each one, I do the same thing. If you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I pray that you would reach out to me in the comments or send me an email at cherylteknology at gmail.com. That way I can pray for you or discuss or debate 
or just listen, whatever you need to you need, because the purpose of my channel is to help you both spiritually and mentally. That is my desire. And so and that's the end of the video, everybody. Thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And until my next video, everybody, peace.